We left the house. <laughs> <laughs> we drove out to the middle of the desert. Why did we go to the middle of the desert? Because we go over there in a dry lake bed to launch rockets. Daddy grew up going to the desert because he has family that lives in the desert. And so he loves going to the desert. He loves the wide open spaces. It's funny because a lot of people, the wide open spaces make them happy and they feel like they can breathe. And I don't. I like trees. I get sad when there's not wall to wall trees. There's <laughs> Sam's little hand waving. Hi, Sam. Hello. And this, this cell phone tower cracks me up. Who is it fooling? No one. <laughs> And there was Tyler, hands out the window. Here's the dry lake bed. It's quite expansive. Yeah. We've been here a bunch of times. They have public rocket launches here when it's not COVID times and there would be hundreds of people launching hundreds of rockets. It's super fun. We went out there with a couple of our friends who are rocket enthusiasts. They're the rocket experts. We didn't actually bring rockets this time, but Tyler made a rocket. With the playa, the clay ground. <laughs> yeah. So first, the first thing we did is make some clay so that we could do some sculpting. And so we broke up the clay with a hammer and then put some of the dust into a bucket. Totally forgot to bring a sifter this time, which is a bummer because we were picking out the pebbles with our fingies and that is a lot more time consuming. But once we got all the pebbles out, then we added water. So whenever we go out to the desert, we take these weed sprayers, these two gallon Hudson sprayers filled up with water. Never ever had poison in them, only ever had water in them. I have them around for painting. I do scenic painting for stage. So you're often adding washes on a large scale. So I use them for that. We can load them up with water and take them out to the desert. And then we have a mobile hand washing station and we can also add water for the clay. This is mixing the clay. <laughs> My hands are so messy. Yeah, it's a really, really sticky, messy business. Yep, so there they are getting ready to launch rockets, and there we are making some clay. It was really windy. The rocket guys would have to wait for breaks in the wind to launch rockets, and we were having to hold all of our stuff down <laughs> so it wouldn't blow away. The so here we are ready to actually start sculpting. So step one was to kind of make our little balls for each of us to mm. sculpt with. What are you making, Ty? Um, I'm just making a little like pot mold thing. Yeah, you made, it, it had a handle, right? Yeah. It was like a pitcher. Sam, what are you making? I'm making a ball. A ball, yeah. I was making a skull. <laughs> I feel like every time we go out to the Dry lake beds, somebody, somebody makes, makes a, a skull. Somebody makes a skull. Mm -hmm. It was my turn. Mine was the derpiest skull, I think, <laughs> that we've ever had. But it's fun to sculpt with the, the clay in the desert. Yeah. And it's basically the same as the clay that you would get at the store, like air dry clay or kiln fire clay. And I made a second thing. I made a little head. Yep, Ty made a second thing too, and that's what you're doing right now, is Tyler's making a rocket out of the clay. So she had one of the little motors, and she wrapped it in clay, in the clay, and then made the little point, and then she added some fins to it. The fins, ordinarily, on a, a regular model rocket would keep it flying straight, help out with that kind of thing. For this one, it was sort of mainly so that it had kind of a stand. <laughs> so that you, the fuse had some space so that you could stick the fuse into the motor. There's your little head, Sam. Mm -hmm. He's a cutie, I like his little round eyes. You don't know who Mr. Bill is, but he looks like Mr. Bill kind of. Can you say, oh no, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is either. I'll show you. <laughs> he was a claymation from a long time ago. Here's the rocket guys launching some rockets. <laughs> they had a lot of rockets. The one on the left, the orange one, is a new one. Freshly spray painted with a 3D printed nose cone. He was trying out a new design and lessons were learned. 
But that's Professor Pickle and Aiden's Lab. Awesome, awesome project buddies. There's Ty loading the fuse into her clay rocket, and you can see she's already taped a straw to the side of the rocket with electrical tape, just wrapped around there. And it's just a regular drinking straw, right? Like a little chunk of yeah. regular drinking straw. And that holds it to the launch pad, to the little rod that it launches up. <laughs> it's the little rocket. There's the blowtorch to light it. Some safety lessons from Professor Pickle. <laughs> and then, this is my, my second favorite rocket launch ever. It worked so well, your little clay rocket. And then it exploded because it doesn't have a... A parachute. Yeah. yeah, so the way the, the motors work is it burns from the bottom for ignition and to launch it. And then there's a secondary, like a pop at the top of the motor when it burns up to the top that's supposed to release the parachute. It's, Mine didn't have a parachute. So yeah, so, so it, it just, just blew the top off. Now we're looking for moop. Moop is matter out of place. And anytime you go to the desert, you collect some moop and get it out of there because, yeah, things get left behind. So we always go for a moop trick. <laughs> And here, we're doing watercolors. Yep. So I'm just doing little black cats. Yeah, we were just having fun. This was a nice day out. So we were just painting silly things. So I painted my derpy clay skull. I did a black cat because you can just kind of make it a blob and give it like the ears and the eyes. Mm -hmm. And they all looked a little grumpy. <laughs> I loved them so much. It was really windy when we were painting. <laughs> so we were all, you can see, we're all holding our paper down. Sam's got the cup on top of hers, Ty's got the paint on top of hers, and I'm just holding mine down with my fingers so that they don't blow away. But anytime we let go of them, they wander. <laughs> it's hard mode, painting hard mode. <laughs> Test your skills. So what are you painting, Sam? I'm painting me and my new style. Yeah, what's different between your old style and your new style? Now I don't do line eyes, and I actually use construction lines. Nice. Yeah, I like your new style. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. And I do necks now. <laughs> we were painting on this teeny tiny little TV tray. <laughs> it was the only table that we brought with us. <laughs> we all had our camping chairs and our teeny tiny TV tray. Aiden actually built my favorite rocket ever. It was the night launch. Do you remember when we put LEDs into the ping pong balls and then put them into the rocket? Yeah, so we had little battery operated LEDs inside of ping pong balls and we launched it at night. And when the parachute popped, all the little flashing, glowing, colorful ping pong balls exploded out of the rocket. And it was a group launch and there were a lot of people there and they didn't know. The people who were in charge of the launch knew that we had a payload, but all the spectators didn't. And there was a lot of, ooh, it was really cool. They kind of rained down. I remember somebody said, just like, is it supposed to do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm painting dirt cracks. When you were painting it, you said, I'm just painting the earth cracking beneath it. It's a fun little thing to paint, the, the cracks, and it turned out cool. I liked it. Did you guys have fun in the desert? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was nice to leave the house, for sure. I like how grumpy the, the one with the party hat looks. It's yeah. just like... They all look kind of grumpy. There's Sam's rainbow and pot of gold. Happy March, everybody. There's the hammer that we use to smash up the dirt. There's you and you guys and daddy walking away. <laughs> <laughs> There's my skull. The derpy skull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>